Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's version of my video blog post. As a leadership coach, I work with my clients on helping improve their interpersonal or soft skills. And in fact, when I'm asked in networking events what I do, I usually tell people that I help leaders improve their soft skills development or become more effective by improving their soft skills. If you look at my LinkedIn profile, you'll see that in my heading as well. Soft skills are an extremely important part of what it means to be a leader and what it means in leadership development. I've spent the last four or five years working with many, many leaders in different organizations. And I would say 90% of the time, we start with how they can improve their interpersonal communication skills. The good news is soft skills are a big part of emotional intelligence. And as you learn more about yourself and how you can shift your behavior, shift how you communicate, you're actually increasing your emotional intelligence. Now, to emphasize this point, there was research done a few years ago by the Hayes Group, I think, where they look, talk to new grads coming out of university, mostly MBA students, and then leaders, HR professionals in organizations. And there were some really startling stats, and I want to share those stats with you. And I've written them down because I haven't got them memorized, <coughs> but they're really important, and I refer to these a lot. One of the things that they found that people, individuals coming out of professional schools, they were really good and they showed very high in their ambition. They scored high in their passion. They scored high in their intelligence and commitment and also their tech smarts were really high. But one of the things that profession, uh, HR professionals found they lacked was soft skills. In fact, when new grads were asked, these are newly graduated students, they were asked, 69% said soft skills got in the way of doing their job well. They believed that soft skills were actually a barrier to doing a good job. 70% believed that technical skills were more valuable than their soft skills. But now you turn your attention to leaders in organizations and what would the, their mindset was, 91% believed employees with refined soft skills advanced faster. So if you were looking at a leadership development program, soft skills, leaders found that 91% of leaders felt that those soft skills are what help you advance faster. 85% of the leaders saw technical skills as the basic necessity of a job, while soft skills were what set them apart. And here's another one, 90% of leaders believed employees with strong soft skills delivered a better commercial impact. In other words, gave a better ROI. So there's some really strong messages there. In fact, I ran across an organization a number of years ago based in Australia. Their whole program that they offer, mostly to big banks in the UK, in Europe and Australia, is geared towards giving newly minted MBA students soft skills. Because banks realized when they were hiring these highly technical individuals out of the schools, the one basic thing they left with, lost, they were missing was their soft skills. And that's listening, communicating with one another, resiliency, time and organizational management skills. These were some of the things that were missing. And that's why, where I tend to focus a lot of my work, because that's what I see. I see when I'm talking to people, they tell me that we're in the workplace, if there is the leader, they tell me that people are just not understanding themselves in the workplace. Their communication is missing the mark. And so they asked me to come in and work with them. In fact, a few weeks ago, I was working with a, a National Basketball Association organization, their sales and marketing team. And they'd asked me to come in basically to talk about how their individual, their salespeople, 
their service people, their group sales people communicate better with their client base, their members. But after the fact, I was told by this leader, the leader of the group, that what they found they got the most out is how they're communicating and understanding themselves, how they communicate among themselves, how they're understanding each other's behaviors. So if you'd like to learn more about that, feel free to contact and reach out to me. If you want to make some comments or have suggestions for future blog posts, feel free to uh, make those comments on the, on the comment section below as well. So until we talk to you again next week, I hope you have a great uh, weekend ahead and take care.